I cannot fucking hit this guy. There we go. Oh, I probably had to charge it. So, I feel like this is kind of an interesting episode for us. Why is that? Because it's our first retro game that we played since Star Fox? Actually, no, wait. What's our retro game going on right now? Oh! Sonic. Sonic. Yeah, that's on. I mean, that is retro. Yeah. But this is the first game that is based on a movie. It is a movie tie-in game. I guess so. Kind of like Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, but that's, that's a little bit different. I mean, like, movie tie-in games have really fallen out of style. Like, if anything, oh, yeah. you might get, like, an iOS game to tie into it, and that's about it. And even then, they don't advertise it. Like, I remember one of the last major ones that I was like, you know, really, they tried to advertise, I think, was like Avatar the video game. That's the one that stood out to me anyway. I'm not saying that's the last oh, one. Avatar the video game. But you don't see them, like, flooding the shelves anymore. I feel like they got smarter when it came to doing that kind of stuff. And I think Lego games really kind of changed it up. Because I remember Jurassic World, there was no, like, movie tying game besides the Lego one. That's, a, that's an interesting way to do it. And they also had other stuff from the other Jurassic Park games in there. and Or not games, but movies. So they all tied it together. And that was interesting. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's just movie tying games are just in this weird way area of like they tried to advertise the movie and have it come out, but they were always rushed and they couldn't give away the whole plot of the movie because then what's the point of seeing the movie? So half the times the developers didn't even know, you know, the whole thing. I mean, they were probably told, but it's like, don't include everything from the movie, but base it off the yeah. movie. <laughs> and it's like, what? Here's, yeah, they just gave us like a weird gameplay and then they were like oh have some scenes from the movie yeah that was a big thing back then it's like i don't know include... how this one's good i like, don't know there, like there's no way this game should be good but it is i'm trying to think of ones that like really like tie-in movies that were actually ones i cared about because even as a kid i was like eh, it's not it's not good and i couldn't <laughs> put my finger on why you know the whole thing where it's like you don't oh really think of games is good or bad what is it what was the game i know there was probably there was Stuart game. little i remember i remember having a really good time with that game um never played it mostly because i didn't like Stuart little so I, <gasps> why would i get you didn't like Stuart little. i did not like Stuart little no, i'm just kidding it was fucking boring it was so it was fucking boring, boring. and it was boring too... movie I, this is gonna sound really punny but it was too cheesy. <laughs> the mouse movie was too cheesy. I'm sorry. I don't think it was cheesy. It was just what was that ironic? No, that's not a good use of it. It was just ironic. it it was um Wow. Whatever. It it is what it is. It's dumb. God, why can't I think of movies? Did I just not own any? God. Fucking Spider Man though, was that there, was a good one. Is there an Iron Giant movie? I mean Iron Giant game. I don't remember one and then again it's probably just in a bargain bin in new mexico or something i mean it was during like the renaissance of movie tie-in games you know i think that 90s and 80s were well not 80s but like the 90s were definitely the time there's like 2000s and stuff yeah Had a lot of them god why can't i remember God, the platform is kind of frustrating. Oh, I remember one shitty one I had. The Monsters, Inc. game. That was fucking trash. I think I remember it, kind of. I'm. Oh, no, I had a demo, and I always played it all the time, because it, like, I think it felt better than most of the other games that were on that fucking demo disc that I had. Yeah. Oh, God. But I don't... Yeah. We should, we should play demo discs. That'd be oh, weird. How would we find them? Uh, bargain bins? We'd have to go to, like, Goodwill or something. Those will be our Goodwill game yeah. jam or whatever. I don't know. Goodwill game jam. I think Whoa! PBG already kind of, like, claimed that. Pubaga. Pubagoo. The Goodwill games? Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't do, like, Let's Plays of them. He'll, like, showcase. Well, I don't watch his Let's Play channel, so I don't know if he does. I, I doesn't don't... he stream, like, sometimes what he's going to be playing or, like, doing a video on? 
I don't know. I, I just watch his main channel because it's footage. so hard to keep up with people's like extra stuff that I'm like certain well, people. Yeah. I yeah. Like Total Biscuits, like one of the few people that I'm like, I'll watch whatever you do. <laughs> you. I love that man. Also, yeah. I feel like you know, even though we don't really have much of an audience as of now, uh, it's kind of. I, I'm proud to say that I don't mind talking about other YouTubers or being like. They exist, and I don't mind saying, like, who I watch or who inspired me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we've said before that Game Grumps was, like, the reason why we started to just be like, hey, let's play, sit down and play games together. It wasn't until years later that we were like, hey, let's make a YouTube channel and then abandon it for a year and come back oh, and God. be like, don't. <laughs> we can't ignore that. What? Not that, like, if this channel ever goes anywhere, it'll matter. And you're leaving in a few weeks, so we gotta start we playing gotta some fucking set up games. That queue. Yeah. Oh man, like each year, is this gonna be an issue for us? No. Well, hopefully, when we get back, we just start releasing like two videos a day. Oh, that'd be difficult, man. Huh? I well, still say we weekends should... we shouldn't do stuff. Like, I think if like two videos a day during the week would just be easier. Maybe like one video a day. Because then fair. people could be up to date. Yeah. And then we can see, yeah. And right now we're in like every other day during the weekdays, which is well, like. Well, you're filling it with like. That's like the three, Dark Souls. That's three videos a week. Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm watching you play this, but. I'm lost. <laughs> oh, I thought you knew what you were doing. Oh, I'm sorry I've been paying attention, but like. What is he saying? Waiting to race you. In oh, the he's telling me. He's telling me uh, where I should go. Okay. So go back to the garage. Yep. But I didn't see RC there. Yeah, I saw him for a second. Ow. Then again, I I've been distracted by his talking. I've never given credit to when people say that talking and playing or like even just commentating while doing this stuff is easy, or like it's it's difficult. Oh yeah. It is difficult. It's like. Playing playing the game and talking. Like, I'm trying to focus right now. I what no the fuck, what man? Saying. What is he doing? Or are we going around in a circle? Yeah. We're racing. But he's a car. Yeah. And we're beating him. That's because he decided to show off and do, like, a wheelie. But it's the first fucking level. Oh, shit. He's right behind uh! us. I want to win! I want to win! Let me have it. Let me have this win. Let me have it. No! Did no. he try to sidewind you? I don't know. He's fucking dirty, though. Yeah. I did it! I won! Oh, you got the pizza token. I don't know. It's pizza planet token? I don't know. No fucking clue what's going on. Yeah. No clue. I think I'm about to, like, 100% the level. Oh, wait. There's still, like, the kitchen. Hey, do you want to pause for a second? Oh yeah, we have ramen. Do the thing? <laughs> what thing? We didn't start. We didn't do anything. No, the... Nope. We yeah. don't need to? Nope. I didn't restart anything. I just kept on recording. I okay, hey guys, it. we're back, I guess. Back from what? The we had war. a ramen break. I feel the a lot war. better now. War. What? What? The war. The economy. war. The war economy. Oh. Yes. The great ramen war. We need to find Bo Peep. We need to, Oh, is that what we're doing? Yep. What the fuck are we doing in this game? Five sheep. I need to find one more sheep. I see it right there. <gasps> is this game a collectathon? And I had no idea. Did you not realize that? No. I literally been collecting things this entire time. I think I'm honestly spoiled. On what? On graphics. It's hard for me to discern certain things. Are you, are you saying these are bad graphics? No, for the time, they're amazing. But at, <laughs> as of now, it's like... It's... It's hard for things to have... I don't know how to, what to call it. Just, I don't know. Things don't pop. It's not like you can easily focus on things anymore. Yeah. It's all kind of muddled and jaggedy. Like and, I, have to, I have to really pay attention. Yeah. I, I don't know. It gets me into it. I mean, like, if a game, like, if this exact game came out nowadays, it would still be in HD. It, it would, you know, like, things would be very 
crisp and clean. You know what is interactable, you know what's environment, you know what's enemies, and you know what's collectible. Yeah. You would know it's interactable just by, like, what it looks like. Yeah. Instead of it being having a giant hand over it saying, This is collectible! This yeah. thing right here, collect it! Yeah, or, like, um, I guess, like, NPCs. It's like, she's standing there, and it's like, yeah, I have a quest, and there's a thing. I don't know, things are just more self-explanatory. In some ways, that's a good thing. To infinity and beyond! To infinity and beyond! Did I do it? Oh, there's one more I missed. So, wait, I don't understand. Uh, you pretty much can leave the level at any time. Oh. So we're done with that level? We're done forever. Oh. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching. No, wait. Takes another year-long hiatus. No, wait. Oh, wait. This is mine. Oh. There we go. I guess delete it. No. I made a new save. Okay. It took one block. Remember when memory was in blocks for some reason? Yeah. Here, you just go to the next level. It was easy to keep track of, though. I guess so. It made sense to anyone who didn't know what, like, Mega Oh Man's my god, were. we're watching the movie! It's the movie! Is there cut- is there- is I can't there, even understand it. Is there what's it called? Is there, uh, subtitles in PlayStation 1 games? There might have been. Oh, they're about to make out. <sighs> oh my god. Who manufactured uh, the Toy Story toys? What do you mean? Like the official ones, like the big old Woody's and the big old Buzzes. It was like probably a Hasbro? Like, yeah, I was gonna say probably Hasbro. They're like Isn't the Potato Man toys? licensed? Huh? Isn't Potato Man licensed from from Hasbro pretty much? Yeah, some stuff is. Um... Like there was a Potato Man before the movie. Yeah. They just got the rights to use them in the movie. It's think of like Wreck It Ralph but for toys. And then certain ones were turned into toys because, well, movies did phenomenal. Although, I have a bit of a problem with Toy Story. <gasps> I love the movies, mm -hmm. but because of its success, it was the first nail in the coffin for traditional 2D animation. Yeah, that's true. Everything became 3D. And while now we are finally reaching the point where 3D animation truly is... You know, just far superior. Like Zootopia, fucking beautiful movie. But what if it was a 2D movie? You know, it was hand drawn. I just anything. don't think they could have put that much detail into it. That's true. Or been as vast, or like as you know, just, just, I don't know. It's just not possible. And in that sense, yes. But for a long time, we had to deal with this awkward phase. So I love Toy Story, but. It brought about a lot of eh for a while. Yeah. Yeah. True. I mean, what was it? Am I doing this correctly? Can't even I think, think so. of what it was. And that we got an ambulance going. Hopefully ambulance. you guys can't hear that. Uh we live in a not. dangerous neighborhood. Yeah. A lot of old people dying left and right. <laughs> Fuck on the Florida. Bodies in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> bodies in the <laughs> uh what okay what is going on I, I feel like every time i go on a tangent you just look back and you're like what the fuck <laughs> is going is on this what is going on what is my life basically okay well can you explain this to me what are you doing yeah i can explain this 